We all know that plants need sunlight and water to survive. But what about the cactus? How do cacti survive the dry heat of a desert? Let's find out. Hi there, I'm Jack from Twinkle. The cactus is a plant that has four main adaptations that allow it to survive in some of the harshest environments on Earth. Firstly, most cactus plants are known as succulents. This means they can store water, vital for surviving in the desert. You might know another famous succulent, aloe vera. The second adaptation are the roots of a cactus. Most plants have roots that go deep underground, but instead the roots of a cactus spread far and wide, just below the surface of the ground, allowing it to absorb as much rainfall as possible, vital in parts of the world that don't get much rain. The third adaptation is the shape of a cactus. Cylindrical and spherical shapes have a lower surface area. This lowers the rate of evaporation, again allowing the cactus plant to keep as much water as possible. The fourth and final adaptation, and what cacti are best known for, is their spines. These actually have two main benefits. Of course, the sharp needle-like spines protect the plant from animals looking to feed on it. But these spines also absorb and reflect sunlight, again keeping the cactus cool, reducing the amount of water that might be lost through evaporation. These were just the main adaptations, but Twinkle have a range of resources to allow your learners to find out all this and more about cactus plants. Start off with this activity pack. Included is a PowerPoint that explains in greater detail how the cactus is adapted to its environment, how its adaptations help it to survive. There is also an included investigation if you have access to a cactus, allowing you and your learner to investigate its adaptations by observing the plant and recording data over a number of days. To learn more, you could also try this cactus fact file, a child-friendly read that will allow your children to understand its adaptations, habitats, and even its popularity as a houseplant. Also, you can access Twinkle's range of cactus posters with handy reminders of their adaptations and features at a quick glance. Great for your learning area. Once your learners have found out all there is to know about cacti, test their knowledge with this adaptation worksheet. Can they use the word bank of scientific vocabulary to fill in the missing words. Or for a trickier challenge, your learners can try this differentiated worksheet and write in full sentences about how roots or spines aid the cacti's survival. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to comment or review if you found these resources useful and join us again soon.